The new trailer of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is out. It's just crazy. There are spider people everywhere. Here are all the spider people from across the Spider-Verse that we are currently aware of, leaving aside the obvious ones. The Bombastic Bagman The Bombastic Bagman is a costume that Peter Parker was compelled to wear as a result of the events in Amazing Spider-Man number 258. It's not actually an alternate version of Peter Parker. Peter was left without a costume to swing home in because the alien outfit would eventually fuse with Eddie Brock to become Venom. When Spidey asked the Human Torch for a favor, he was given an old team suit and a bag to use as a mask to hide his identity. Spider Cop The term Spider Cop was first used as a joke in the PlayStation classic Marvel Spider-Man, in which the PlayStation version of the web crawler made some humorous jokes about how he was on the beat and taking his mantle. Spider Cop's on it! Part man, part spider, all cop! In the comics, a spider cop would eventually appear, helping in the battle against the Inheritors while donning a police uniform and a mustache for good measure. He first appeared in 2018's Spider-Geddon. Spider-Woman, Jessica Drew Jessica Drew may share a portion of Spider-Man's name and part of his abilities in Marvel Comics, but that's about all. She's not related to Peter Parker. She wasn't bitten by a radioactive spider, and she doesn't even swing from a web. She can fly. Although we are unsure of how this version of the character will differ from her comic book origins, it is clear that her superpowers are in accordance with her prior appearance, since she is seen taking down a different version of the Vulture in the trailer. Lady Spider, aka Steampunk Spider. Maybell Riley, better known as Lady Spider, made her debut in 2014's Spider Verse No. 1. She is from an old timey dimension in which she created four mechanical limbs and web shooters for use and battling crime rather than gain her powers from a radioactive spider. She eventually became involved in a massive conflict involving numerous Spider-Men fighting against Moreland and his family. She has since made occasional appearances in the comics. Spinneret and Spiderling In addition to conceiving a daughter named Annie Parker, Peter Parker and Mary Jane were able to maintain their marriage on Earth 18119 seemingly escaping the demon Mephisto. But not only did the couple have a family, Mary Jane and Annie also acquired spider powers and adopted the names Spinneret and Spiderlin. They all joined Peter in his efforts to battle crime. The family made his debut in 2015's Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows and have since participated in all Spider-Verse gatherings shown in the comics. Spider-Man, Magnaverse. This version of Spider-Man made his debut in 2002's Marvel Magniverse, Spider-Man. He was a member of the Spider-Clan, a clan of ninjas, and his Uncle Ben served as his sensei, teaching him how to fight crime. This manga-fied Spider-Man has a design and origin tale that has unquestionably given the impression that he originated from Japan rather than North America, with his uncle being murdered by this universe's venom rather than a random criminal. Superior Spider-Man In this version of Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man's biggest enemy, took control of Peter Parker's body. Otto Octavius chose to truly try his hand at crime fighting, but with a far more brutal method. Otto eventually evolved into a superhero who continued to use malicious methods, such as building his own spider army and evil gadgets. Otto was eventually expelled from Peter's body by his own hand, but has made a return here. PlayStation Spider-Man One of the best Spider-Man video game experience to date would be Marvel's Spider-Man, when it was released on the PlayStation 4. This version of Spider-Man is still Peter Parker, despite having a slightly different set of adventures. The fact that this Peter first had Otto Octavius as his mentor and ultimately fought against him when he became Doc Ock is one of the main changes, aside from the enormous white spider on his chest. Thinkverse reported the confirmation of the PlayStation Spider-Man appearing in the film. In case you missed it, consider subscribing to our channel to never miss out again. Spider-Monkey Spider-Monkey first debuted in 2008's Amazing Spider-Man Family. His origin story is remarkably similar to that of Peter Parker of Earth-616, with the obvious exception that he's an ape. This monkey possesses the power, speed, and abilities of a spider and comes from a universe where all the Marvel heroes are monkeys themselves. Spider-Monkey did pass away in the comics during the initial Spider-Verse events, so it's encouraging to see him swinging around in the trailer. Spider-Werewolf Ash Williams escaped the Marvel zombie realm in the crossover series Army of Darkness vs. Marvel Zombies by plunging into an unexpected reality where a werewolf plague had decimated Marvel's heroes rather than a zombie one. It would be fun to see what this character brings on the plate in the film. Spider-Man 2099 
Miguel O'Hare, aka Spider-Man 2099, played by Oscar Isaac. Miguel O'Hare made his comic book debut in a preview backup in Amazing Spider-Man number 365 in 1992, followed shortly after by Spider-Man 2099 number one. This character eventually appeared in the post credit scene of the first part, recreating the famous Spider-Man meme. And last but not least, Spider-Man Unlimited. We weren't prepared for this one. This version of Peter Parker was initially featured in the 1999 Fox Kids animated series Spider-Man Unlimited, which ran for only one season. This Spider-Man traveled off-world in a suit designed by Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four and engaged in the battle with Venom and Carnage on a space shuttle, as well as the Warriors of the High Evolutionary on another Earth. After the first season ended, Unlimited did not return for any further episodes, so viewers were left in a shock when they saw him chasing after Miles Morales. We were also able to spot Undie Spider-Man, PS1 Spider-Man, Silk Spider-Man, Armor Mach 2 Spider-Man, Earth X Spider-Man, Future Foundation Armored Spider-Man, Cenobite Spider-Girl, Dadbot Spider-Man, Sad Walking Spider-Man, and Spider-Jock in the trailer. Additionally, the Indian Spider-Man and Cepeda Man are also confirmed to appear in the film. As previously reported by us, there are very strong rumors of a Tom Holland Spider-Man cameo as well. Talking about rumors, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are also expected to pop up in the film. We will surely go crazy if this happens. Moving on, Peter Parker also has a daughter named Mayday, confirmed in a YouTube premium exclusive preview by Sony. In the comics, Mayday Parker was created as an alternate future incarnation of Peter Parker's daughter in the late 1990s, being featured in an impressive comic run that lasted for over 100 issues. Well, these were all the spider people we could spot from the trailer. Do let us know if we missed someone in the comments section down below. Check out the video on the left for our breakdown of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer, and click on the right side for details on Deadpool 3. Thanks for watching.